Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Dark Souls. And uh, in the last episode, uh, we were... At the very least, I guess you could say we were hungry like the wolf. Um, except for, I think that he was probably hungrier than we were because he totally, totally kicked my ass. Way too many times, actually. And we also lost a, a, nice, uh, a nice sum of souls a couple of times, actually. Uh, we lost about 25k um, over in in uh, the New Londo Ruins. And then on the same side of the coin, we went and lost um, about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15,000 more over here in the Dark Root Garden, fighting against uh, good old Wolfman Jr. So, it's uh, not what I expected. I was certainly thinking we were going to be fighting a, like a larger version of ourselves, at least appearance-wise. But that was uh, about as about the furthest thing from the truth that could be humanly possible, and so with that, uh, we're gonna have our hands full <laughs> because this this particular wolf is about the most erratic being with a sword I think I have ever encountered. I mean, this fucking thing is just like all over the map. Uh, he is jumping and sliding and swinging away. Like he's just on like a coke binge or something. It is it is crazy. Not to mention, I mean, let's let's look at this at the at the most base level possible. We are fighting against a, a, an immensely oversized giant gray wolf that's holding on to a claymore the size of like the Lincoln Tunnel, just in its mouth. <laughs> it's just a wolf with a sword in its mouth, and it's incredibly adept with it. Uh, um, among other things, it is it is something else, and we also get to walk through the uh, the old dick shroom fields here to go uh, meet up with uh, with the dog. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a fight that shall occur more times than one over the course of the next thirty minutes, or whatever time I decide to stop it at. So here we go. I'm gonna go one hander with this because the seems like all the times we went two-hander on that, it did not work out very well. I'm not saying it's going to work out much better this way, but it seems like we got a better chance. I mean, if you got a shield, you, you got you to gotta put some use in it. Or that will just happen anyways. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! God, just get out of the way of it. That's not what I was asking. Ugh! And now I can't even get back in here to save my life. I did not ask you to jump into him. Come on, come on, pop the sauce, please! Thank you, we're... Oh, there you are. There we go. Boy, those... The sound effects on that are crazy. It just, it sounds like it's... Like, oh my god! Okay, I need, I need, I need to get away from you for a second. Come on! Oh boy, you are right on top of me. <laughs> you literally just sat on my face. That was, that was pretty weird. It was not in any way, shape, or form what I had asked for. Kind of had him cornered there for a second, though. That was, that was fairly nifty. Ow! Shit. This is bad. This is very bad. Come on, come on, there you go. There you go. That's looking good. That is... That, that, it's that second revolution that really gets me. Oh, here we go, here we go. I, did, I mean, I kind of meant to do that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, alright, that's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Yep, you build back up. You do what you gotta do right there. Whoa. Damn, that arcing slash was crazy. <laughs> Look at what it... Uh, I mean, at least getting, a ten, uh, getting 10 points for presentation. Oh boy, it's getting a little hard to see. Getting a little hard to see there. Uh, oh boy. Oh god, nope. Bad roll, bad roll. This... This... <laughs> 
What is happening? Something's gotta happen here. God, that was the weirdest, just like, cinematic looking thing ever. Oh boy. He's getting kind of gimpy over there. I don't really know. Yep, I think he's just running out of gas. I think we got him! We got him! Yeah! Alright! Woo! The Covenant... The, the Covenant. The Covenant of Artorias. You know, the person that doesn't exist. The Soul of Sith. Humanity. Homeward Bone. Holy smokes, that was super sick! <laughs> Damn. Dude, that boss fight was awesome! And the Hornet Ring. Hold on a minute, what's this all about? What have we with, with such a thing? Hornet ring. What uh, what do we got? Boost crit. Ooh, hello. Yes. Give me all of that. Actually, let's uh, let's put Havel's ring back on, and then uh, let's put the. Ooh, yeah, baby. Dude, that was super awesome. That was a really fun fight, and like definitely, definitely the critical thing of the day. Definitely going back with the shield. The shield made all the difference in that, without a doubt super tight, man. Okay. Now, so here's the thing. We have that out of the way, but now what do we do? Do we have to, I mean, I do need to figure out what that whole thing was all about uh, back in uh, New Londo Ruins, because that still, that still ceases to make sense to me. Um, I might as well use a Homeward Bone here. I really don't want to have to run all the way back through that. So we won't. Um... Yeah, because like we went we went through the fog gate and then it was just like a spire that goes downward, and then nothing, just straight up nothing after that, you know. So I got to figure out what that's all about. Um, but let's at the very least, let's uh, repair our our gear real quick, and then let's uh, at least level up once, maybe twice if we can handle it. Well, you need any. I heard you killed the wolf person. Well done. I did that once back in 1974. It was great. It was back before I had to have the bionic arm, though. However, you know, I kind of really like the bionic arm. It's a great conversation piece. It really gets me a lot of bitches. You wouldn't even believe it if I told you. Actually, I'm not even supposed to... If, I'm not even using that shield anymore. Am I not using it anymore? No, I'm not. Um, all right. What are we? What are we wearing right now? We've got uh, oh yeah, the paladin stuff. It's not even really that badly battered and beaten, but might as well do it. You know, knock don't them all out. Yourself. I will. <laughs> don't get yourself. Oh, all right. Well, if you don't want to listen, then you know what? Go right ahead and die. See if I care. I've given you advice eh, ever since you were a wee lad, bringing your shitty, tattered black robe in here. Well, you would think you know better. You think you're. You think you're invincible and nothing can kill you. We'll see if I help you next time. Alright, so let's put Vite... Ooh, boy, this is a tough decision to make. Let's go, um... Let's go Vitality. And then we'll go... Ooh, maybe like one in Dexterity for the next one. Level 65 we are. We should probably, um... Consume one of these little guys. Just so, you know... Ooh, another one of those. Let's uh, let's go with this one. We got a few of them, so why not? I wish it would like bring up a little menu that says how many of these would you like to use instead of just immediately just using one. Actually, that should be enough. <laughs> Watch, we're off by like two souls. Okay, we got it. It was close. Let's go with uh, let's see. I mean, it, it looks pretty much the same. It's it's literally the same. <laughs> well, then we'll we'll go with that. Then you know what? I like to try to keep a lot of my stats as close together as possible. So we're gonna do that. Oh wow! What in the hell are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was... Were they wearing, like, a frisbee on their neck? Or what the hell was that? That was weird looking. Dude, did you see that guy's balls? Yeah, they were weird looking. Okay. I'm sure... I'm Actually, I'm almost positive that Eric from, uh... 
from Billy Madison probably had extremely weird looking balls. The guy had an extremely weird looking face, so you gotta have weird balls to match the weird face. That's just that's all I'm saying. I also have a text message and I need to figure out what it is, because it's gonna keep making my phone explode. Ooh, shattered your phone screen even more. That's not good. You know, I have only shattered my phone screen maybe maybe like one and it wasn't even I didn't even shatter it, like I cracked it, but I didn't shatter it. Like I didn't have like the I didn't have like the whole like spider web thing going on where just the whole thing is it's insane. Um, but I do remember one of the weirdest malfunctions I ever had with a phone, now that I think back on it. Um, back when I still had Sprint, or actually when I had Nextel, oh yes, even further back in the void, I had a phone. It was a really weird phone too, actually, now that I think about it. Um, it was a phone that, it was a flip phone, but it was a flip phone that it had like, it had like locks in it, like, you could either... To open the phone, you could either choose to, you know, force it open like anybody would normally do. You just kind of flip the thing open. Or there was, like, a little button on the side that you could push that would, like, release the thing, and it would just flip open all the way up on its own, which was pretty cool. And then when you'd close it, it would kind of, like, go down halfway, and it would kind of lock, and then, you know, you push it down again, and it would, like, lock all the way in place, and it would stay that way. And, uh... And like, but the display for the, for the screen wouldn't come on until the phone was all the way open. And uh, I remember dropping my phone once. And, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit phlegmy right now, so that's why I keep like randomly stopping in mid-sentence. Because it's just like, it's like this one little chunk of phlegm that's like, just hanging out in a really weird position. Oh, there we go. I, I think I may have gotten it. Maybe. Anywho. So there was a time I had dropped my phone, and, like, it didn't, like, physically damage it, but it caused this weird thing to happen with my phone for the rest of the time that I owned it until I finally upgraded it into something else, was I, uh... Like, every time I would open the phone, every once in a while, the screen would just randomly start, like, flickering. Just, like, crazy. Like, to a point where you couldn't even see what was going on on the screen. It would just, like, it would just flicker on and off. Just, like, pure white on and off. And it would just, it was, it was, like, it would be like being in, like, a crazy European, like, discotheque or something. It would just be like... And, uh, dude, it was wild. And then, like, you'd close it, and you'd open it up, and it would still be doing it. And sometimes you'd, like, shut the phone... Like, you close the thing all the way, and, like, you could see the, the screen still flickering like a madman in there, and it was, uh, it'd be a lot. I just came up with an, with an idea. I have an idea. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I mean, if we're gonna be in this area for an extended period of time, why would we not totally go down here? Or, go up here, I guess. There's totally a bonfire right here. <laughs> This saves us so much running around. We can just literally come down here. I remember this area now. Yeah, we got this little cave over here. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Look at Adam thinking of things that are not horribly stupid. They're only like semi-stupid some of the time. We'll eventually have to kindle that thing, but I ain't doing it right now. Okay. Oh, I rescind that statement. That flint is totally still there. There we go. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I can. I think I can. Whatever. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, so like sometimes you'd close it and it would still be flickering like crazy like that. And then every once in a while you'd it'd just like work fine for like three days. And then it would do that again and it would just... Uh... So like, it w but like when the, when the screen was flickering like that, it was still perfectly functional. Like, I could still, like, if, if I knew exactly where I needed to navigate, um, I could totally do it. It wouldn't even be a problem. Like, I, I remember pretty fondly, actually, I used to just, uh, I used to send text messages all the time that way. Like, I'd open it up, because I remember exactly, like, the course of action to navigate um, in those old phones to get to my messages. And, like, a lot of the time I I knew, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't have to know necessarily, like, I knew kind of what the order was in my inbox, 
Because back then, it wasn't necessarily... They didn't, like, group messages together all the time back then. Like, they, it used to be on an individual message basis. Like, sometimes you'd have just an entire page full of just one person's text. I need to go up these stairs here. Okay, here we are right here again. Okay. Okay, alright, this is getting a little... A little out of control here, a little out of control! Go through here, please. Yeah, no more of you guys, please. Sheesh. Alright, at least they... Oh, no. You guys can totally go right through all that shit. That's not cool. That's really not cool. Okay. So, I really want to know what the deal is with this. Why... Why is this the way that it is? I mean, you have, you have me come into this thing and walk all the way down here, and you mean to tell me that... That there's nothing? Let's pop one of these, just in case they keep trying to come down here. I'm not trying to get myself into a weird situation here. I mean, what's the deal? There's got to be some type of end game with this. There's no way that you would have me come all the way down here seemingly for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I came all the way down here, and then I just straight up died. So, there... Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not sold on this. Like, there's got to be something down there. There just, there's no, there would be no reason for this spire to exist. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely gonna check for hidden walls out of all these because there's a, enough floors here to try it. But something, something's not adding up with this. I don't know what it is, but something's not adding up. Not at all. Like, am I... I can't imagine I'm supposed to drop down there now. I mean, maybe I am. Maybe I Maybe I had to kill that boss first before I could do that. I don't even know. Oh, you're here. Oh, everybody's here now all of a sudden. Yeah. But now, seemingly, it won't even let me go past back through that gate. Like, once I traverse the gate, am I just, like, totally you know, perpetually screwed, or what? Alright, so you're dead now. Not necessarily the same fate for you, but maybe if I do this... No. I said maybe if I do this! There we go. I knew I'd get you eventually. So, I can't... Okay, so I can't go... I can't go back out. So, obviously, there's something. There is something to be said about this room. There, there, it, it can't just be you walk through, you you know, you traverse the veil or whatever the hell it is, and then you just walk down here and die. There, there's, just, there's no way that is how they created this room. There has to be something to it. Like, there, it's, it's almost like there has to be, like, a prerequisite of something you have to have done before you can go drop down in that pit. Like, that's the only thing I'm getting out of that. I mean, I'm looking at your blood stain right here, young gentleman, and something tells me you did the same exact thing that I did. You sure did. And now, like, I'm gonna go down here, and it's... I'm gonna die again, and I'm gonna be at a total loss of what to do yet again. But I might as well. I mean, what are you, what are you gonna do? I mean, there's nowhere else for me to go. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do then? I literally have no clue of where I'm supposed to go in this area, if that's the case. I mean, if this is what's going on, then, you know, what what's a guy to do here? Uh, okay. Alright, this is, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're going to, like, seriously, oh, that's the wrong way. We're going to seriously try this one more time, and I'm actually going to kill everybody in here. Uh, because maybe there's a different place I'm supposed to go that is not that room. Ah, no! Well, I can tell you, for one thing, <laughs> that ain't what I'm supposed to do either. That is, if, if there is anything that we know, it is most certainly not that that we're supposed to do. 
if there would be anything that would make us have to go repair all of our gear, it would probably be a really long fall like that. It would probably be a long fall like that. Alright. Let's try again. That was just embarrassing. That's all that was. Alright. What are we gonna find? Are we gonna find that everybody's gonna die and it's just gonna be the same problem? That that's gonna be our only course of action and we just have to keep going through uh, weird spire purgatory for the rest of our days? I hope not, because that doesn't really sound like a way I want to live. <sighs> like, I almost don't even want to go this way, because if I do that, it's just gonna be people chasing me down like crazy for a while. Well, what choice do I have? Oh boy. Okay. Ow. Trying to want to go up this way instead. And I can't. That's... Oh wait, no, yeah, I can. I can go up here. Take the elevator. Make them all go away. Yeah. Alright, we'll do that for a moment. Of course, with my luck, they're totally going to be standing there for the rest of forever, waiting for me to come back. Is there something up here? Have we been up here before? I think we have. Yeah, I think we have. Okay. Nope, they're all just going to still be hanging out down there. Great. <laughs> they're just going to keep doing that, assuming that I'm going to come back down here, and they're totally correct by doing it. Or are they? Are they all gone? Okay, they're all gone. Good. Good. Now we can actually fight people. You know, the way that God intended. So let's do that. Let us commence in fighting with people the way God intended. Come on. You can do your little temporal displacement thing all you want there, buddy. But no matter what you do, I'm still going to stab you in the back. And now that I have better critical strike chance, your chances of survival have gone down way more. And that's fine with me. I don't really care about what's going on in your life. Boy, you just let me, you, I mean, you just let me walk right on in and do that. <laughs> I mean, there was no defense at all there. That was, uh, that was like watching the New Orleans Saints play defense. That was, that was extra bad. See, like, at least he, at least he had some showmanship in it. At least he tried. You know, he knows he's gonna still die. I mean, he's got no chance. But at least he wasn't gonna, you know, it wasn't gonna be on his headstone. Well, he was inevitably killed by the person who changed the course of history. But uh, at least he did it swing, and at least he isn't gonna be like, well, he inevitably lost to the person that changed the course of history, and he did it without even, you know, taking one swing at the man. <laughs> he let him walk around him. He had full-on visual of him and just totally sat there and took it. Okay. Let's get to the bottom of this. Something, something's got to, you know, we got to figure out something here. Whatever that may be. Oh, there's two of you. There's two of yous. I'm gonna myrtleize ya. Depending on which ones of you guys want to uh, come out here and uh, have some fun. Okay, there's way too many of you guys. Seriously, like when I said, when I was thinking of saying don't all come at once, I literally actually meant don't all come at once. Yep, because now I'm gonna die. Or you're gonna be kind enough to let me uh, do that. Hey! Okay, everything's good now. <laughs> it's gonna look a little murky there for a moment, but everything's okay now. Okay, now you guys are here, and you're not gonna really fight me because you guys just like to hide out up there and you know suck each other off or whatever you gotta do. Boy, 
You guys really had a golden opportunity there. I kind of squandered that one a wee bit. Okay, so we can go this way. So that way, it just it might it might just be a straight up trap, just to you know ensnare you in certain doom. Did not realize you could do that with uh, you know going too handy. This is good news. Okay, so what happens if we go down there? It doesn't look like a place that that we should be going. Is that a place we can even go? I don't know. Something, however, would tell me that that is not a place we want to go. Oh, that's just out there. Okay, so what's the deal, then? What is the deal with this room? There's, there's something that the world is not telling me about this room, and I don't know what it is, but it is, it is really, really pissing me off. Because I don't know what the deal is with it. Seriously. Need soldier. Dark Wraith ahead. Dude, I, I truthfully do not know what the deal with this room is. Like, it's, it's like, it's like obviously something important is supposed to be happening here, but it's like I'm missing something. Like, I've got to be missing, like, an item or something for this room. I just don't know what it is. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stop right here. When we come back on the next episode of, uh, of Dark Souls, we're going to figure out what this is all about. Even if I have to, you know, take the route of looking up what it is to do. Because I don't want to be wandering around for another 30 minutes trying to figure this out, man. I really don't. So, till then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. Where did you come from? Seriously. Where did you come from? Because I think that's a... That's kind of a dick move. He's going to kill me. He's not going to kill me. Seriously, what the hell was that? Where did that guy even come from? I don't even... Hold on. Hold on. Where could that guy possibly have come from? I mean, I'm hearing things. Okay, you know what? It, it's just whatever it is. So I'm just gonna go right back over here again. So yeah, when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna figure out what it is that we're supposed to be doing in, in, with this whole thing, because I can't figure it out, and it's pissing me off, and I don't want to spend another 30 minutes of game time just trying to figure out how to get the hell in there. So until then, I will uh, see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.